St. Clair County Risa presents Dateline Schools, hosted by Terry Harrington. Well, this week on Dateline Schools, I have the privilege of talking with Dr. Stephen Skalka. He's the superintendent of the East China Public School District, and he's going to be uh, moving from the district at the end of the school year and taking on a, another challenge out east. And so we wanted to have an opportunity to talk to him before, before he left. And Dr. Skalka, with any good leader... You, the success is because of the people you surround yourselves with. Tell us about your leadership team here at East China. Oh, they're an outstanding and dedicated group of people. Um, they have risen to many, many challenges. Uh, mentioned last time about some budget challenges, and frequently we address those when people retire or resign by not filling those. And so our, uh, our leadership team continues to take on uh, more work. They continue to add hats and, uh, and doing it very well. I kid, that's kind of why I look the way I do, and I'm sure for you, we all have to wear so many different Oh, hats. my gosh, absolutely, absolutely, uh, whether it be uh, pitching in over transportation or in any aspect of the organization. That's what makes it uh, it makes people uh, the good people that they are. They all pitch in. Great. I know this winter, too, one of your, your principals was also named Principal of the Year for the State of Michigan. Yes. That's got to be a pretty good feeling for you to walk out knowing that you've got that kind of leadership still here in the district. Um, yes, Mike Alley uh, was recognized as not only um, middle school principal mm -hmm. of the year, but also principal of the year uh, by Michigan Association of Secondary School Principals. And it's an extremely well-deserved honor. He has served uh, East China and uh, the state in many capacities. He worked, he was on the board of directors at mm -hmm. Michigan Association of School Board, uh, Michigan Association of Secondary mm -hmm. Principals. But he's not the only one. Uh, mm -hmm. Currently, right now, high school or St. Clair High School principal Ron Miller is working as, uh, with the board of directors of that same organization. And Palm's principal, Mike Domolgowski, mm -hmm. is um, also on his state organization's mm -hmm. uh, board of directors. And so you, uh, you'd be hard-pressed to find another district in which you have three, uh, three principals serving, not just uh, locally, but mm -hmm. their, their profession as well. Great. And that's got to say a lot for you and what you allow your staff to do, too, in terms of not only serving the students here, but really growing professionally. It's a great learning experience for them. Uh, it just broadens them. But it also comes back in, uh, comes back to the district uh, tenfold because they're in tune with what's happening, um, not only professionally, but at the state level legislatively. And uh, we, get, uh, we get a real good idea of how to plan and, and what's coming up. So that kind of makes a challenge for your your uh, successor, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm sure that, that they'll stay in that role, and they'll be sure? those principals will stay in that role, and and that person, whether it be a he or mm -hmm. she, will benefit as well. We'll be back with more tomorrow for Dateline Schools. I'm Terry Harrington.